This conference will now be recorded. Hi, I am Moneyflow Mel, moderator with Black Box Stocks. And tonight we have had some extremely interesting, very large dark pool activity. And it's really presenting a good time to update and go over and make sure that everyone knows what a signature print is. Um, we're kind of seeing a little bit of a, a pivot here in the markets as we've sold off and down here at lows, but we've got some size coming in that's definitely worth noting and want to make sure that everybody is aware of, but also use this as an opportunity to talk about signature prints, what they are, um, and how we use them. So I'm going to jump off of the Black Box Stocks platform and just jump right in here so that we can spend a little bit more time and make sure that everybody is up to speed. So a signature print is a delayed dark pool print that actually transacts the evening prior but does not record to the consolidated tape until the next day. The consolidated tape is our time and sales. And if anybody's a tape reader, sometimes you'll notice some transactions that are occurring outside of where the current bid and ask spread is, where the current auction is happening. And those are signature prints. Um, most dark pool activity you see come through the tape will come in in real time. However, um, the major indices, SPY, Q, QQ, IWM, DIA, and we'll also see that occasionally in the VIX and the UBXY uh, will delay transactions. And what we're seeing is activity that actually occurred the uh, previous session at previous session close. Um, one thing to note is that you may see some variance in the share size. Um, so this is an updated version today is january 31st um, a lot of what we saw come through today was a share size of 251,000. um yeah right about this 251,000. previously you would see 50 501,000, 502, 503, 504,000 lot sizes and i think they kind of started to break that in half as a way to kind of try to stay under the radar but don't worry, the system knows how to flag that. We've programmed the algorithm with black box socks to be able to recognize what a signature print is. And we actually denote those as they come rolling through the tape um, or on our dark pool alert stream. The common denominator is that they all come in at the same price, 441.84. So regardless of what that share size is, what we're trying to find is all of the activity that's coming in at, at the 441.84. So you'll see the same price. And what's important about that is that's just a recording of a transaction. Now think about your bigger, very big institutions, um, Goldman, uh, uh, Deutsch, you, you've got just so many larger in, institutions that are rerouting orders to kind of like curtail and delay it and then it still has to be recorded one thing that's really important to remember is that none of the volume is not being recorded that like dark pools and it may sound very ominous and just there's a you know a whole lot of misinformation out there um <clears throat> but they have to still record all volume and the volume that comes through is going to be recorded to the time and sales. And that's important because they're still heavily regulated. So think of that time and sales like an accounting record for any of the underlinings that you're looking at. So while you may have some stuff come in to the T in real time and a few little here's and there's delayed, um, all volume must still come and record through the tape. The biggest misunderstanding and what really throws people off is that you can still have a transaction come in that's outside of where the normal auction process is taking place. SPY is very liquid. You have very tight spreads and you'll still see orders coming through because they're not pulling liquidity from where the current auction process is taking place on the lip market. And the lip market means that you have visibility to the open order book. You're able to see where there is positioning on level two. 
and that's where dark pool is extremely different because you have no visibility into where there is positioning there is no level two um, however uh, you still have to record a transaction to the time and sales so the biggest difference being the lit market which makes sense we have visibility to see where there's positioning on level two. Dark pool has no level two. Everything's kind of done behind a curtain, but there is still transparency with that. They are still very heavily regulated. Um, you just need to make sure that you have access to a reputable dark pool provider. And that's something that we offer along with options flow. And I think we're actually one of the best um, because of the level of information that we have and how we report that. Um, so spend some time, go over uh, a little bit more detail on the signature prints. But again, signature prints are signature prints specifically in our major ETFs because we know we will see that activity. SPY being the largest one. Um, so we see more signature prints occur in SPY than we do Qs and then IWM, and then very rarely do we see DIA. It's just not as heavily traded in general, and we just don't see as much of the dark pool activity or signature prints coming through um, that ETF. So going to jump right in, um, to me, one of the, the best advantages with black box stocks is the dark pool volume profile um, we're essentially taking everything that is coming through the dark pool feed and we are dumping it on your chart to specifically just show the dark pool activity this is allowing you to see how price is interacting at these larger levels so you're going to see this overlay volume at price and then you're able to see what are your bigger levels so let me just kind of change this here i'm going to go to a five minute and this is now going to pull in by default the historical you can see below us we have some larger activity and this is the area we're going to be talking about today because oh my goodness we saw some size but again you have these larger or smaller levels and they may have still been pretty large but you, you're kind of overtaken with some of this more recent volume, and we're going to go into the details of that. Um, another <clears throat> feature that I love with Black Box, <clears throat> excuse me, is that you're able to actually download the um, whole uh, Dark Pool data feed, and this allows everybody at the highest nerd level to just geek out on data. Um, you're able to just go here filter, make sure you have dark pool selected and run a historical time frame um, for whatever ticker you are looking for, or you can do it for, um, you know, a, for several days and give you just a whole data dump so that you're able to query information, play with it differently. And it actually gives you a little bit more insight. Uh, the stream during the day keeps us a lot more focused and more relevant on what's coming in right now, but you don't ever want to just look at the dark pool data that's coming in just here right now. Make sure that you're zooming out and black box makes it so easy because we're putting it visibly if that's more of your style and then also the transaction details. So if that's more of your style, there's like two ways to approach this. Um, don't just stay on the one minute chart um, and only reference that. Make sure that you're really going in here, popping that chart out and remember whatever is visible on your screen, whether that be a one minute, a five minute is going to allow you to pull in all of that historical activity. So you're seeing where there's maybe some larger levels that are coming into play and unfortunately i'm glitching right now because i am doing this as a recorded go-to webinar it's just kind of something that occurs quite often but let's go into the data um, because it's just been some size uh we're able to download that so i've went in i filtered it I'm trying to show the activity from Friday to today. I could click here to download. So I'm just going to minimize this so that we can focus on, ooh, let me just jump right in, the actual data that has come in. And so if you follow me on Twitter, one of the things or in the room, we made this, this just 
huge deal. I'm going to focus on the cues because there was some activity that came in there Friday that just really, uh, really was notable size. Um, so let's go to the cues again. I've had this down. I downloaded it and I cleaned it up just so that we can stay extremely focused. I didn't want to go through that process and spend all that time because remember when you download that information, unless you are telling it to only pull spy, you are pulling a whole data feed, which is great so that you can get a big summary of what happened that day, um, looking at different, uh, you know, top level view down to the, you know, individual equities, but we're just trying to stay a little bit focused. So I'm going to start here with the cues and the activity that we're looking at is from <clears throat> Friday, Jan 28. And if you were on voice with us, we're talking about this print here that came into, uh, came through Friday, three million shares. This is a real time print. So in comparison to what we normally and typically see come through the major ETFs, we know we're going to have that delayed signature print recording. That's something we see every day. What is extremely notable is when you see this kind of size come in. And again, this was 3 million shares in the queues at 347. This was on Friday. This was a $1 billion order, 1 billion in money flow. That is substantial size. And we just do not see that. We held that level. We pulled back a little bit and then another larger dark bull print. So on that pullback, and you can even see we've got volatility insane right now. That order, 3 million shares at 347, dropped down almost four points. And then we saw another larger dark bull print, 1.1 million shares. And again, that was in real time. And then the queues and the whole market just took off. So let's talk about the signature prints that we saw come through um, on Friday. I have those highlighted in yellow here. Again, all of this, common denominator is the price. They all came in at 341.05. We know that those were delayed. They transacted the evening before, which would have meant that was Thursday, but our recording to the tape on Friday, we had 28 signature prints. I went through and just did a little bit of highlighting to make the video flow. Um, so 28, which is notable for Q. So as you get a little more familiar and comfortable reviewing the activity, you'll see on an average normal day, you know, we have anywhere between, you know, three to eight to 10 come in the queue. So seeing 28 signature prints in and of itself was pretty notable. More interesting seeing 3 million and then 1.18 million shares intraday and that just provided a um, hell of a move but let's jump over to what we're seeing today and that is um, Jan 31st and again remember we were saying like that's pretty decent size here to see queues with 28 signature prints um, now we're into Monday January 31st it is the end of the month so something to keep in mind but we have the queues with 53 signature prints. That is size. That is 12 million shares at 352.05. You want to make sure you have this level marked on your chart because you have 12 million shares at this level. You're building out volume by price. And we can go and take a look at the platform just so you can get an idea of what that looks out because it it sticks out like a sore thumb it's just it's it's size and we just don't typically see that especially in the queues um predominantly the heavier volume is usually in the spy um again let's kind of look at every angle we're not trying to be bull, be bear. We're trying to look at everything across the board. We go into still bigger um, earnings this week. You know, we had Microsoft and Apple last week, but it doesn't mean that this week is just not, you know, like we are still extremely heavy with some big movers uh, that can come into play. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to a five minute because I just want you to see what that looks like on the chart. And so here I'm showing one, two, three, 
seven days worth of activity. Now, remember, whatever is visible on your screen, you will actually see the dark pool volume profile um, pull and extract that information in by default. So um, whatever and I could use my scroll wheel to zoom in, to zoom out, but I just want you to see from a perspective during the last seven days, and there has been extreme volatility, upside, downside, I mean, just range four days. I want you to really see how big this level is because it's 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 size here. Um, so let's really go to the superstar is going to be SPY, um, and I just have not seen this many signatures prints come into SPY have not had the same real-time activity that was as notable with the queues, but let's go ahead and take a step back. We're going to go back to Friday just so we can kind of get some lay of the land. Um, SPY seeing 23 signature prints at 431.34, 5.7 million shares, which, you know, that was, that was like, in this, I'd say that was a little more average for what we've been seeing just because we've had a lot more volatility. But what I really wanna draw your attention to is some of the activity we saw after hours. Remember, a signature print is activity that occurred the evening before, but is recording the next day. What was notable on SPY Friday was the amount of size we saw come in after hours. And so this was going to be at 441.83. We had <clears throat> um, almost 8 million shares. So we had 7.98 million. So that was definitely a level I was watching going into today. But then today, we opened and just ripped to the upside. And so that was unusual size in and of itself, but I want to talk about everything. I want you to see something here. Everything that's in yellow, all signature prints. And I'm just going to scroll through here until we get to the actual number because we just haven't seen this. 105 signature prints today at 441.84. Remember, the activity we saw Friday was 441.83. We're penny off um, so it's still considered that that kind of like that same order, but all of this got rerouted and recorded to the tape today. And when you take all of that volume from what came through today, 105 signature prints, 26.56 million shares at this level. This is a level that you need to make sure that you have on your chart. And if we go back and we pull in Friday, and what we saw today, because we know like they're going to report Friday some of the activity after hours, and then they're going to delay and report the rest of the activity the following day. In total, you have 34.5 million shares. And if we take it at that price level of 441.84, 15 billion, 15 of them billion dollars of money flow. This is a huge level for SPY. And typically what we've seen in the past historically is that we have the larger activity happening at tops or bottoms. And so I'm still gonna be extremely mindful knowing uh, the context of what we have going on. This is probably the first time we don't necessarily have the Fed right there. Um, pumping the market so there's just this little bit of you know there's a lot of other economic stuff but i think right now you know we're setting up um, for a potential rally to the upside we have ers so we've got to combat that but i really want everybody to make sure that they've got this 441 84 on their charts because that's going to be a bigger level so meaning if we come back and we pull back what we would want to see is that this level tests and that we bounce. So there's ju there's just a lot of activity, um, so this is a bigger one. And I will tell you, I if memory serves me correctly, the largest signature print activity I saw was back uh, pre-COVID or during COVID, and we had 144 signature prints. So like, I really want to really want to hone in how this is unusual, extremely very large size. And we have not seen this months and 
the last few years, the last two years, I would say. We just have not had this kind of level of activity. So today is a very big day. Yes, I know it's month end. Yes, I know that there's rebalancing, but we've had all of that occur throughout this whole year and we haven't seen the same activity. So just trying to draw some attention to it as well as educate on what signature prints are. Um, I am at Mel Stone 31 on Twitter. At the end of every day, I do take the time. I try to post as, as much as I can the unusual activity, but do just want to make sure that you know I do post the SPY, Q, and IWM end of day snapshots. And what I'm trying to just kind of highlight or what you want to draw your attention to is look in this feed and look for the signature prints and kind of start following along and making a mental note of that. You can clearly see where the larger levels are. Uh, the the transaction details over on the right will actually tell you SP whatever. Remember, SP means signature print and it tallies it out throughout the day. So you'll usually be able to capture um, the last signature print level, but we're following that larger price action. That's usually those signature prints. Um, I really appreciate everybody tuning in. I, I think the activity today and what we have seen has been just insane. Um, I hope everybody is staying green. If you would like or are interested in black box stocks, I have a discount link to take 20% off your uh, first month. I am one of the moderators. I am on voice all through the trading day. So we get to take a deeper dive into the dark pool activity as it's coming in real time, as well as options flow and kind of marrying the two of them, um, which I think think is the best way that you could possibly do it. Keep your eyes on everything that they're doing. Um, but the link will be below. Appreciate your time and hope you guys all stay green.